Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started and as usual we start with the dixie on the weekly time frame so last week was a, a bit of a slow week as you see a spinning top candle um, a bullish one with a close above previous high which is also um, not bad uh, i still think that this market uh, markets objective uh, the first objective at least is to tag this previous high now the question if it's gonna do that without a correction or if we're gonna see a correction back to 92 so to to look more at that we go down to the daily time frame you see the the gap that I was talking about got filled on the daily now so this objective is done and there is still <clears throat> the retest or the tag above this previous high what, what, uh, is what I'm expecting so last week Wednesday was a bearish engulfing Thursday a nice hammer that did push back up with a rejection from here and Friday was a, a typical slow day so for more details I'm going down to the four hour time frame where we see that we had uh, this um, uh, ugly uh, head and shoulder or yeah depends on how you you count that if uh, you just look at the close it was a head and shoulder if you look at the the highs only it was not but in any case what happened here was that this market did break uh, this trend line and it gave us a push to the downside got rejected on thursday now what happening here is if this now is confirmed a lower high there is potentially one more leg to the downside probably a retest of 92 or a retest of these areas down here okay so uh, on the four hour time frame this slow down we had in this um, consolidation this looked good we were looking for a tag above previous highs but this not happened so for me for uh, on the dixie next week if this breaks happens i'm looking for buys on the dollar when and if the dollar reach 92 i'm looking for the buys on the dollar pairs otherwise it might still could give you something like this a continuation without a bigger correction but we need to have some confirmation we need to see this establishing a higher low so the first level to watch is this old level the old uh, top of the range that got broken here got retested so if they fail to break back inside the range you might still see that continuation to the upside some kind of a squeezing pattern may start happening here something like this in a breakout that could be also a sign that we might see continuation without a bigger correction on the dollar uh, gold still holding at this um, key area here as you see so many times now it got tested uh, this will uh, be our uh, support level for now the second level is of course down here at around 1750 if this structure got broken so short term keep an eye on this support level it is a clear area you see it here been tested many times as resistance and then start tested as support so many times now <laughs> look at that look at that so this is our line in the sand support uh, 1750 down here uh, and if they um, if they break here of course the next support is 1750 as I said but for now keep an eye here this is still a bullish area that might get de defended for that correction toward the 1850 area on uh, this market oil did a nice move since uh, stock market is moving higher let's check the uh, s p 500 quickly guys these uh, are only uh, i do the all the um, indices only for um, uh, our trading room and uh, my subscribers uh, for the trading in the chat room but i will show you what's been happening here so um, as you see the s p 500 new all-time high weekly time frame with a close above previous high so still bullish and um, yeah there is no um, 
nothing else to do than keep buying the dips on these markets so since this done a all-time high oil got a nice um, push how higher following that sentiment but all in all if you check this you are still looking at the bearish market and any failure to make a new high could send this market back down now there is one thing to consider uh, that we do not have much of uh, resistance on the way until it reach back to 1750 area up here so now next week for oil what you need to watch um, is this first level here this area here since the market did break back above this area uh, what you should be doing is potentially looking for this level here to be a possible support now since the break above it and if they hold it could be a good idea to start looking for potential buys and a retest of 75.50 otherwise a failure here a break back below this previous low could send this market back down once again EURUSD uh, pretty boring at the moment still holding here down here in this little range I was expecting this market to tag this to tag this previous low but as you see it did get stuck in this area we do have um, bullish divergence on the RSI which is a sign of a potential bounce higher and uh, this ending wedge usually is telling us that after such a huge move and you start getting any wedge you might see something like this but somehow i'm still thinking that this market might before a break to the upside it might go like this tag this previous low before giving you the push to the upside so that is what i'm thinking and uh, last week's trading been uh, consolidation as you see here uh, it been going sideways inside this range still not much uh, happening and um, we do have bullish divergence he's here as well so this is showing uh, to um, to be a good support for now at the moment what i would be doing is keep trading this range until we have a breakout now what happened last week after this huge impulse there was not able to push it higher so they did another little range here and that's uh, what make me think that since they are holding the lows that we might see a break to the downside as soon as you see a break to the downside we might still looking for a retest and then further continuation to tag previous low for more upside if you're looking for a bigger correction i think the best way to play it is to wait for a break to the upside then a retest and then the continuation toward 1.19 might happen okay so that is my plan for this one sterling sterling still uh, in a bearish structure on the daily lower lows lower highs the last move was a break to the downside a retest of the broken structure and i was looking for continuation but friday was a slow one as you see um uh, inside bar on friday and um, yeah we're still looking at the same here since we had this uh, strong impulse normally you get a correction and then you look for another impulse and if we measure this uh, leg here we see that uh, it did reach 618 uh, Fibonacci retracement. So any failure to make a new high above these levels here, I'm looking for potentially something like this to happen next week. Now, if they manage to hold above this level, if they gave us something like this, this to be the correction, a flag, something like this, and a break out of the flag, that could signal a retest of these areas. And as far as there is no break above these areas, these still are resistance and may still give you a bounce back down from that level. So there is a couple of scenarios to watch here, either a failure to make a new highs and then continuation, or you look for a bullish flag. And if they break the flag, you look for a retest of these levels up here. USD Jappy. Um, this market is holding nicely now after the bounce to the upside and and since the stock market is all-time high of course Jappy uh, usually get weaker and uh, that's why we see this market pushing back up again uh, the daily structure here this move here ABCD move here is still a bearish one with lower low and a lower uh, uh, sorry a lower high and a lower low now on Friday there was a continuation a break above previous highs <clears throat> and if we check the four hour time frame we had a nice inverted head and shoulder the neckline is broken so this pattern is confirmed now and uh, we do have a nice impulse a higher low and a continuation with a break above the neckline which means 
we might see something like this happening for next week a retest to 100 level is a, a very possible scenario so that's what i'm looking for for next week here a retest and then potentially continuation especially if the market sentiment on the stocks keep being uh, as strong as it was um, last week usd chief still uh, boring not much is happening still very tricky uh, since we had this uh, impulse and then we start getting this correction this still could be something like this to come uh, we we cannot see this more than a potential correction at the moment and it is the correction for this move so for now this is still tricky i'm not sure uh, what to how to play this yet i will keep watching waiting for more confirmation i do not like the pattern and that's why i'm not telling you anything uh, clear ideas about this what I'm seeing right now that we are inside this channel if they break below I'm pretty sure that we might see a retest toward this area down here but for more upside and to be more sure about it I want to see this market breaking above this previous high you could uh, play something like um, a trend line or something like that and wait for that break as well this could be something but for me i need to see this broken for uh, me to look for further upside on this one usd cat um, <clears throat> move back down after a nice and strong break to the upside uh, did expect a retest but uh, for now the retest as you see uh, both thursday and friday it uh, it was still stuck down here um, the structure on the daily is still a bullish structure so still no um, change of that but uh, i did not like that it did get stuck like this for a couple of days uh, down here which could mean we have an impulse right now we're having a correction a bearish flag and maybe a break to the downside could mean a retest of the bottom of this range okay so for next week watch this if that would be the case um good market sentiment could help the cad a little bit with a stronger oil as well that could mean that we might see a retest of the bottom of the range otherwise if they manage to hold this level and break above the top of this little range here we might see a retest of the top which could mean a continuation of this uh, pattern here with the higher highs and higher lows on usd cad aussie usd <clears throat> also was expecting continuation to the downside especially after this break retest and then further downside now we've got a little bit of a uh, continuation lower on friday but that was not enough checking the lower time frame you see it clearly here we had an impulse correction now if they fail to make a new high i'm looking for one more leg to the downside on this market now to change my mind i need to see this breaking higher holding above these previous highs to then give me a higher low here if that happened i'm looking for a deeper correction higher otherwise my first plan is to look for this to break lower and continue to the downside new zealand same scenario but new zealand is a little bit better the break was not as big as we had on uh, on aussie usd and um yeah for now uh the, on the retest we've got a couple of uh, spinning top candles or one spinning top and one doji candles on the daily which showing um, a little bit of a weakness here so i'm still looking for this to be the retest and then further downside for next week what i would what i will be watching is uh, this little trend line here or this channel down here if they fail to break uh, to the upside and give me a break lower i'm looking for retest and further downside on this market but keep in mind that even if you get the break it might still hold at the bottom of the channel because looking left here this area been tested also many times as both support and resistance so this down here still could be a, a good support even if they break out of the channel to the downside and uh, yeah, that was it for this week, uh, guys. Thanks a lot. See you next Sunday. Bye-bye.